Hello guys, we welcome you back to the Study Abroad channel. We thank you that you have clicked and you want to watch this video. For many of us who want to travel abroad, one of the major factors we consider is the finances involved. The average cost of tuition and other forms of fees that are supposed to be paid by international students have increased over the last years. So in today's video, we are going to show you the alternatives that you can travel abroad at a very cost-effective way. Stay tuned. The global economy has been a major talking point these days. And as students going into 2023, the cost of tuition and other fees are not going to be accepted when it comes to the global hardship. It is estimated that um, the average cost of tuition for 2022-2023 academic year in the United States is going to cost around $40,000 to $80,000 per year. The story is not different when you consider uh, Canada as well, which is averaging between $15,000 to $30,000. In Europe, in Australia, in New Zealand, and all these major hotspots for international students, the cost of tuition is really increasing. Since at this channel we care about our subscribers and we care about our people, that is why today we want to put out some of the best options for you that you can study abroad without breaking your bank. Now the first option available to you as an international student is the intensive English language programs. So traditionally the, the aim of the intensive English language pro programs is to provide a, a high level academic and professional English language skills for people who are non-native speakers. So these are preparatory grounds for you to polish your English language in order for you to fit in a very um, English language native school or country. So for example, if you are a student who wants to apply to a, a university in the United States, they are usually requiring you to provide a means of showing how proficient you are in the English language. You could do that through writing a standardized test such as the IELTS, the TOEFL or the Duolingo. However, in some schools, they will tell you that they are going to give you conditional admission and then you enroll in their intensive English language courses. After that, then you migrate to uh, an unconditional admission. So throughout the universities and colleges, you could find uh, programs, you could find intensive English language programs across the length and breadth of America. Usually, these courses have very short duration, in weeks and in months. Therefore, the cost of their tuition is very, very low. Averagely, the cost of tuition for an intensive English language program is about $5,000. The good thing about the intensive English language is that once you enroll in such a school, you have the same immigration status as someone who is doing an undergraduate course or a postgraduate course. All of you are getting the J1 or the F1 visas. So, if there is this opportunity for you to pay only $5,000 or show in your bank account $5,000, why would you want to opt for showing $50,000? So, our second alternative today is the vocational education and training. Vocational education and training gives you practical oriented training for a specific career job. So for example, if you are interested in becoming a hairdresser, then through vocational education and training, you get those requisite skills for you to become a certified or a very professional hairdresser. Apart from giving you those skills, if you're already in a certain profession and you want to change career to another profession, for example, if you are already into the health sector and you think that 
you um, the health sector is not something for you so you really want to switch career and go to let's say the IT field the vocational education and training will give you such skills in ICT for you to switch your profession into any field that you desire in Canada the cost of a vocational education and training is between 10,000 Canadian dollars to 18,000 Canadian dollars in majority of Europe the cost of a vocational education and training is absolutely free. However, I need to put it across here that when we come to the European perspective, almost all their vocational education trainings are being organized in their own language. So, for example, if, if you want to go to Germany to learn vocational education and training, then you need to learn the Dutch. Similar thing in Sweden, in Denmark, and Finland, and elsewhere. But the good news is that there are certain vocational education and training which are offered entirely in English. And that is why I want you to stay tuned to this channel because in the upcoming days we are going to show you some of these schools. Even for those courses which are offered in English, it is still entirely free. So all that you need is to apply to this school, get it, and then you take care of your, uh, your transportation, your flight ticket, and then your means of surviving in that country. Now, the final alternative to regular universities that we are going to talk about is the community colleges. Unlike regular universities, community colleges are usually smaller, meaning they have smaller campuses, they have smaller number of students, and smaller number of faculty. This means that your chances of getting admitted to a community college is very high because it is less competitive. If you attend a community college, at the end of the day, you are going to be awarded as Associate of Arts, AA, or Associate of Science degree. Now, generally, um, both the community colleges and the regular universities, your first two years of undergraduate studies comprises courses such as in history, in classicals, in arts, and in all these generic subjects. So the question is, if there is an opportunity for you to go to a school that is going to teach you the same, give you the same quality as the university, but at a relatively cheaper price, wouldn't you opt for that? One advantage of the community college is the transfer system. This means that at the end of your two years, you would be able to transfer your courses to a four-year undergraduate program. And hence, you are going to spend only two years in the four-year undergraduate program because you transfer most of your credit from the community college to the undergraduate program. And that is really going to save you a very huge sums of money. The average cost of tuition for attending a community college is between $6,000 to $20,000. The second reason you should attend a community college is that it gives you the ability for you to experiment with certain professions. So for example, if you are interested, if you have this emotion attached to music, you could, do, you could go and do music at a community college for two years. And then if you really love to build the music, you will know that, okay, then I really need to continue progressing with the music. However, if you found out that at the end of your two years, your passion for the music has declined, it is possible for you to attend another community college or go to another undergraduate course and change your course entirely. Like the intensive English language programs, the community colleges also are able to issue you with your I-20, which means that your status as a student is equivalent to someone who is coming to do an undergraduate or a postgraduate at the United States of America. Therefore, the question is, if you cannot afford a bank statement of $50,000 to do undergraduate or a postgraduate course, why don't you check a community college? And I bet you wouldn't like to miss a chance by not subscribing to this channel because we are going to show you some of the community colleges and some of the vocational education uh, institutions which are giving you very low tuition. So that is it for it today guys. Thank you for saying through. We have looked at the alternative way that we could attend. We could study abroad in a very relatively cheaper price. The team is so much appreciative of you guys for watching our videos and commenting and reaching out to us. Continue with the support that you guys are supporting us 
and follow us on all our social media platforms at studyabroad underscore gem at studyabroad underscore gem you can reach us for a one-on-one -on -one up and private issues at nytkbrand at gmail.com thank you very much for passing through and until we meet again peace out Thank you.